They're back. What's up, guys? We're just chilling, huh? Nice night for a cruise. Yeah. What are you guys doing, huh? Are you chilling out? Beauty. Welcome to Escape. Last time on Escape. Look who it is. Ahoy! <laughs> we got the BD turn on our bow. And here is a Carnival Cruise Ship. There's no way that you can actually see the bottom in 60 feet of water. This time on Escape, we pick up where we left off after crossing the Gulf Stream with Mike on Paviti Turn. Rounding Bimini, we have another dolphin encounter and then anchor up on the Bahama Bank in only about 10 feet of water. My dolphins. Where you guys are going? Yeah. Oh, you do speak English. That was cool. Dolphin Center. Bimini Island. Dolphin. Oh my god. Like, really? This is real life. What? Oh, I want to go swimming with the dolphins. You guys are all mixed up. You've been fighting with, huh? Boat? You can't fight with the boat. Propeller winning every time. Look at that, oh, so fast. Look at that thing, yeah, it's like a giant tuna. What the? Okay, we got the V turn. The V turn. Dolphin. Oh, another dolphin. Yeah, what 
So good. The dolphins reminded me of Nation more than anything. Uh, they're really just like dogs. Whoa, you're fast, bro. Look what you can do, huh? They can react to the sound of whistling. <laughs> they can see you. If this doesn't make you want to go to the bottom, I don't know what will. Are you kidding me? Dolphin? Spinny. Dolphins? Spinny. Wow. Whoa, you like seen that belly roll thing, huh? Did you flip? You gonna jump out of the water for me or something? Uh -oh. Out. Probably means I'm about to run aground. Great. We kept motoring in the perfect glassy conditions. Depths were right around 11, 10 feet with a water temperature of about 71 degrees. Mike's taking me out to dinner tonight. One of my favorite things to do when we were crossing through the Bahamas, anytime we were on a bank, is to just go up in the bow and stare down and look in the water and watch everything go by. It's just the most surreal feeling. It looks like there's nothing underneath your keel. And you know you draw six feet, you know, and you know there's still four feet there but it's just the most unnerving feeling. <laughs> we get used to it. Yeah.
<clears throat> v turn, this is escape. Yeah, I think we're off of the run line enough, and uh, one of us or both of us will keep our radar run. Roger that sounds good. Looks like we might have some rain or something coming eventually. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, that that's, uh, can't really tell yet. Sun isn't setting yet. But, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but we're gonna get some wind and uh, that happens. Settled in for the night with nice flat, calm conditions and woke up the next morning. The breeze filled in out of the northeast, just like Mike predicted, and started dragging probably about a half a mile with no protection and on either side. More about that next time. up with us next time on the ski. Holy shit. Oh, what a night. I'm exhausted. It's not always uh, puppies and rainbows and unicorns and shit out here. It's sometimes
sometimes it sucks on passage. Just want to thank you guys for following us south. Really appreciate all the support. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of our most recent episodes. And if you really want to get a dose of escape, start with episode one and watch them all. Head on over to followescape.com. Check out our social media accounts and see where we're at.